like all my friends that live in these mansions along the oceans and their kids are always in, in some kind of trouble and it's drug related and you know and, is this and, something you guys are, are dealing with now yes uh, he just did the don't tell me what to do and then my wife came in the kitchen and it just escalated and it got to the point where he just i mean he's a big kid you know he's six five is 250. He? okay mm -hmm. maybe six six <clears throat> and um he just shouldered me like hard and then just spit in my face and i just i just snatched him i told him you know when he was since he's been i said you're going to get in a situation where somebody's going to be tougher than you and i promise you if you get their eye and get behind it and pop it out of their head they're going to do this and when they do that they're yours so he, he's going for he yours. was going for mine so there's a part of me that says well <laughs> that a boy <laughs> When I got my phone back and I knew he was in my brother-in-law's car, I just texted him. I said, I said, sweet fucking lunch, huh? And he texts back, he goes, what was that? I said, jail. I can remember when he took me ice skate, when he played soldiers in the basement with me. Like, dads didn't interact with their kids. So it was a real moment when it happened. It was very rare. Yeah, but it was rare. He's 36 when he dies. Right. Heart disease? Is it prevalent in your family yes. beyond him? Because you, you once he said something interesting to me. There's no 14-year-old <laughs> Great Danes at the dog track. Well, as I said, and it, but it's also no 60-year-old Nashes. Your greatest accomplishment, I'm going to go on record, is having a successful marriage in the wrestling business. 27 years. You're 1% of 1% of 1% of 1%. I'm fairly sure about that. What's the key? Stay on the road. It's referred to as the business, but God forbid if you treat it as a business. When most of my accolades during my Hall of Fame by my contemporaries was what I did for the business, us, the guys. Because that's what I was, you know, I'm a Detroit kid, I'm a labor fucking guy. You know, the UAW, fuck, that's, 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 I, I, was, I, I was brought up with that. I'm still on the road every fucking weekend. You know, because it's just that mentality of fucking make, make, make. Because if the fucking ATM machine's still spitting 20s, motherfucker, don't walk away. Why do we still care about the click? To this day, a really good buddy movie makes it in the theaters because, you know, that's what, you know, and, and what it is is, is that's a, a great five, it's not, not one buddy, but five buddies. Everybody identified with, God, if I could walk into that office and tell my boss, is that what they loved? But we didn't do it. Oh, Vince got on a plane and flew to Indiana or whatever when you called them and said, hey, if we got a problem out here, we may not show up tomorrow. Whatever, wherever the hell that was in the Midwest. Columbus, I think. Columbus, fine. But those are the stories everyone loves. That wasn't, it was Indianapolis. You're right. This person looked at me and he said, are you epileptic? And I said, why? He said, you were seizing all night last night. And it was just from eating so many somas. And I said, I'm going to fucking die. Somas are crazy because like we were, we, we were getting them, from, like, like, especially in WCW, we were getting them from uh, the Mexican guys. We're, we're bringing them in, you know. And they would bring like jars of 500. Well, the, 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 the purity of them, like you could, one night, you, out, of this, out of this jar of 500, one night you could take four of them and they would wipe you out. The next night you could eat 16 of them and, and be like, Phew. There were times that me and Shawn Michaels were working against each other and we'd take them before we went to the ring. Because that was the go home when they kicked. <laughs> As a kid, I was, I was like six foot eight, maybe 182 pounds. 
you know, so I was like, wow. yeah. So, I, I mean, I still see, when I look in the mirror, I still see that guy, you know, even though there's a costume of, of this on him, that, you know, he's, I think that anybody, when it comes down to it, you know, you see that the kid that played in the dirt with a matchbox. I have a moment where Coach DeVoe comes over. And he looks at me and he goes, you know, he said, you probably could have played in the NBA. He said, you're a hell of a player. He said, you were just too busy, always trying to entertain the guys. You were unbearable. I mean, Vince McMahon, Don DeVoe, you, you drove people crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's My a mom, bit, everyone. Yeah, it's a bit of a... My wife. A, guilty pleasure. Besides masturbation? Damn, that's nothing to be guilty about. What am I thinking about you? <laughs> Thin ice. <laughs>